Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Ruined All Rambles. Uh, today's episode is episode 6, the title of which, Getting a Little Cornered. I like, I like my pun, I like my puns. Uh, <laughs> hello, and my name is Fable. I am your DM today. Uh, I will be playing the Antlered King along with assortment of fun NPCs. Uh, and with me today, if you... If you could introduce yourself from top to bottom for me, my lovely players. Vamp. Vamp. Oh, I keep forgetting that I'm now on top of the order. Yeah, I'm you're on top. top. <laughs> introduce yourself, you dip. Hi, hi, I'm Vamp. I'm playing the untraumatized water child, Amy. <laughs> which, you know, once again, saying something that this child is one of the only untraumatized characters on the server. <laughs> and you know, the irony that it's this child that's not traumatized never, oh, never escapes yeah. me. Anyways, uh, okay. moving on. Our next player. Hey, it's me, Ars of Obsessions, also known as Obby. I'm playing my own child, Ruby Red, who may be a little traumatized, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about uh, a thing. Hi, my name is Magic. I am not playing a child. I am playing an adult. However, he is very <laughs> traumatized. Uh, his name is Duster. He's a rat. Rat man. God, I love that. I love that the shortest. I love. I love how we've got all all spectrums of height and age of of the of both the shortest person in the room being the being the oldest. Well, I, I do quotes in my hands, quote unquote oldest. But then we have the tallest person, who's Antler, who is definitely the oldest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like finding it funny that like as our introductions go on, the characters like trauma starts rising. <laughs> what are you hey! talking about? He came pre-packed with all of this. Hey, hey, yeah, I, I would like to defend myself and say I've been pretty good. I like to think I've not been, yeah. I've not been doing too much None of the, the traumatizing. The trauma has been caused by the DM. It's been caused by the backstory. Yeah, That's it's been, it's been you, it's been you peckers. It's been you peckers oh, that have been so traumatizing weird. your characters. That's I, for so once, weird. haven't done anything. I'm just <laughs> sitting here <laughs> telling a story, <laughs> and y'all come in. <laughs> And y'all come in, I'm just like, wait, wait, hold on. We're supposed to have happy fun, magical adventure. I mean, I'm not bullying you. I'm bullying Obi and Unmagic. I deserve it. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I look at this lore and I go, yep. That's well, reasonable. It is all deserved. <laughs> anyway, we're getting off topic. We are, we are. But don't, well, don't worry, well, don't worry. The, this this uh this next story arc we will not need to we will not need to rush because this will be a multi part no matter what so this oh, is joy. this is the what this is the this is one story arc of the Ruindel Rambles that we can take our time with which I would like to do because Rick. character because I would like character interaction to happen uh, yeah. but anyways the start of this episode the start of the getting a little cornered starts in the morning. Starts in the morning uh, at at the Ruindal Castle, no longer the Ruindal Ruins. I, I, I feel I still need to clarify that each time I bring it up. Uh. In fairness, it does have ruin in the thing. It does, which is, again, another part of the reason I want to clarify it is no longer a ruin, it is now a castle. May think about renaming it, but then I'd have to do a whole rebranding and that'd be a whole thing, and that's such too much work. <laughs> Then there's whole money towards licensing agreements, and it's uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. Anyway, anyways, 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 we start this lovely game in the in the in the morning as the sun is is just starting to peek over the horizon, and we are going to start and we are going to start with a a a hey hey Ruby, Ruby, oh, roll me percent. Roll me perception, Ruby. Oh. <laughs> well then, uh, let me look at my character sheet, because Ruby does in fact 
have pro proficiency in perception now because of her gosh dang glasses that she got from Glorps. I love you, Glorps. I love that this child's <laughs> terrible perception came from being blind. Oh. oh Guess what? A... She's still blind because that's a seven. <laughs> oh, that's a set. That's a seven. Uh, all right it's then. Early. <laughs> well, all right then. Uh, hey, Mock, what do you do with this uh, lack of being perceived? What? What? Well, given that um, my character has a plus seven to stealth, there's no physical way uh, <laughs> that that Ruby has uh, seen him. Wait, um, there's no way for you. Doing? There's no way for you to make a bad contesting role. I love that. Uh huh. Uh, eating a snack, perhaps. <laughs> Ruby. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say, Ruby. You walk down the hall. You wake up that morning feeling eh, groggy, probably. It's er, it's early. You're a kid. You don't want to be up, but you're hungry, so you're gonna go get food. And so you may. And yeah, so you gro probably like. She's probably like heading to the kitchen with like her coat like lazily draped over her shoulders, like kind of open in like a her tank top and some pajama bottoms. <laughs> Just walking over, very sleepy. <laughs> yeah, you make your way towards the the kitchen, the kitchen of ruined all. Which to get to, you gotta go through the throne room, up a small set of stairs on the left, past the opening to the, past the opening that goes to the underground river. I do have a map of this in my brain and in Minecraft. Don't judge me. Uh, so yeah, you make your way. You make your way to the kitchen. Here's the here's the scene I have set up in my brain. Ruby, you go to mm -hmm. the kitchen. Uh, it's actually been uh, it's been stocked with food food at this point because even though while Antler is not does not need to eat himself, he does have people who do. So he's had the kitchen uh, stocked up with food. And a wor and a working refrigerator, which is nice, and a stove nice. and an oven. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if any of those have been used. Certainly not by Antler, uh, but they're there. So, so Ruby, I am imagining you open you open the fridge. You get whatever food you get in the morning. Whatever's the first thing you can grab, I guess. Uh, and you probably don't notice that you've been followed. Probably until the image I have in my head is that you look up and oh, there's someone on top of the fridge. The image that I have in my head is that uh, Ruby has gone to the fridge and maybe pulled out, you know, a piece of fruit or something. And then when she goes to bite into it, it's no longer there. <laughs> and then, yes, you can look up uh, up <laughs> on the fridge uh, and there is a hairy uh, little creature perched up there um now admiring the apple that he that he has now Who? or apple piece of fruit whatever Oops. oh my <laughs> i Oops. know i know abby knows i've seen the movie me softly hey hey mom do you have a reference for this character yeah and i just moved it somewhere in my computer and i don't know where the hell it went <laughs> Excuse me? Well, either way. Part of me feels like I should apologize, but at the same time, I don't want to. Why would you? <laughs> I can't believe I just lost this. I literally pulled it over so that I could put it in the. This is the saddest day of my life. <laughs> do, you, do you want to? Do you want to describe your character then for the, the audience? File has been sure. Robbed, just like the apple from Ruby's hands. <laughs> yeah. Um. This character is, I mean, like I like I said, it's uh, basically like a little uh, two-foot-tall fluff ball of a character. Um, he's actually got uh, dark colored hair um, on a kind of a brown colored uh, body. Uh, he also has like a little, um, little red scarf. Um... And I think he probably is going to say something along uh, something something along the lines of mm 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 fanzu fanzu. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I already knew the voice. I'm just ready all morning for someone to open this box. Okay. <laughs> I think Ruby is just a mix of like bewildered and this might as well happen. <laughs> so I think she's just staring up at this person before she's like, all right, I guess that checks out. We're in ruined, all weird stuff happens. And she just opens the fridge again to get more <laughs> to get another apple. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> hey, Ma, um, may I ask something real quick? Yeah. Would this be happen to be this person? <laughs> <laughs> so for people who are wa so for people who are uh, uh, watching this later, later, um, Vamp just post, post for for those who have not watched the um, the movie The Black Cauldron, which. Uh, the antler, the antler king is is based off the the horn king. Uh, uh. So Vamp has just posted a picture of a character named uh, Gorky, which you can Google, who's a cute little furball. And almost immediately, immediately at the same time, Mock has also uh put a picture of. Uh, I put a picture of my character who is called Jergy. <laughs> Jergy, I'm gonna cry. We watched the movie and learned that I could do an almost pitch perfect impression of this yeah. character. Yeah, I will yeah. admit your impression is very impressive. It's very good. Uncle, uncle. It's very good. Incomprehensible. <laughs> like Donald Duck. This is okay. I mean, who? Who's that? Never heard of him. Who's Never heard of him. Now? All I know is Naldo. So, yeah, this little fluffball Here's character Naldo. takes your response as basically permission to um, start munching. Which he does. Go ahead, Ruby's. Ruby's with not relish. stopping you. She's just. <laughs> Again, Ruby's just like this. Might as well happen, and she like takes a bite <laughs> of her own apple. <laughs> not even phase. That's impressive. Listen, you, oh, you, 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 you've been it. You've been the DM for like all the stuff that Ruby has done. They have faced going through to Minecraft land, <laughs> and with piglins and freaking corgi possessed by a crown. There's been living plants. <laughs> I am still so fucking proud of the have made it. I have crowned the cure. I am proud of that as well. Well, all right then. Well, all right then. Since you since have made since, a bingo. since uh since Ruby seems to be uh, nonplussed by this new <laughs> new arrival in the castle. <laughs> I, gotta move. I was expecting a bigger seed from that, but okay. Uh, yeah, oh. I hate. Look, it's early. Ruby is just okay. It is I'm too tired to deal with this. It is early. <laughs> uh, hey, Magic, where would you say Duster is around this time? Um, I don't know if it'd be more plot convenient to say he was going towards the kitchen in the first place. <laughs> I mean, we could go with plot. Con hey, I'm not picky. We could go for plot convenient. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He was, uh, <laughs> he was probably going to go, like, <laughs> I'm assuming at this point, like, Antler has made at least, like, some railings. Um, he doesn't use them. Blatantly, he doesn't use them. <laughs> railings? Does Duster, does for Duster tiny have, <laughs> does Duster have a secret passage that lets out on top of the fridge? <laughs> creaking from above you as just like the slight opening of a panel and I think you mean behind <laughs> yeah the slight opening of a panel and yeah this rat is now just there's someone on top of the fridge who the fuck is that uh yeah uh this creature uh is sitting there eating a piece of fruit munching away just kind of looks like at Duster, 
looks at his apple or whatever, looks at Duster again, and then like j- like jealously like hides it from view, <laughs> <laughs> and and regards you with suspicion. How tall are you? But uh, like two feet. Yeah, what this... I imagine at least. Tiny. Th- this rat is probably the size of like your arm. Just based on like how sizes go, and it's just it's staring at you, th- like you've grown a second head because of what the fuck. Ah, uh, here's the scene that people expected. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is George's apple. Get your own. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, hi! Uh, my name is Sorgi. Uh, how, how did you... How did you get in here? Uh, I'm like, I wanna... <laughs> There's like a flashback sequence of like Mission Impossible style <laughs> like stunts going like... <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know, swinging from like some fucking light fixture on the ceiling, and like there, there, there's a there's a scene of Jer- of Jerky like paying of about he's gonna drop in through the through the opening in the ceiling, and he's and some monkeys happen to see him, and there's just like this covert, this very covert like look, or maybe Jerky pays the monkeys off of like you didn't see anything, you didn't see. <laughs> the monkeys just take the payment, which I assume is going to be food, some form of food or something, and they're just like, they're, they just like nod. Bold and... of you to assume. Whatever you choose to pay them in, they just nod and let and let you go I, about your business. You know what? I think I, Jerky's Jerky's uh, smart enough to know if if you you lose a little bit of food now for more food later. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Think, thinky, do the thinky pose. Doing the brain, doing the brain. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we can hear people's brain leak out of their ears in real time. <laughs> Listen. Human gave apple. Talk is a lot to be sure. Are you? Ruby Jerky just looks at Ruby. shrugs. Ruby just shrugs at Duster. <laughs> can Ruby, can like, can Ruby even see Duster? Can Duster even see Ruby? He's still like halfway in the wall. Yeah, you know what? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, this strange creature has just started talking to the wall behind behind them. I mean, how loudly does Duster talk? Probably not very. No, not really, but... Does Ruby want to make a perception to see if she can hear Duster? I mean, sure. Let's see how this goes poorly. Seven. Wow. wow. Yeah, Ruby, that- that- you're- you're too tired and that out- and honestly, this app- the apple that you picked out is- is the only thing sustaining you in the waking world right now. <laughs> Ruby is tired. Ruby's too tired for this. In the middle of this, whenever there's a pause, crunch, munch, 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 munch. Like, yeah. loudly. I, I, um, I, I, um, hold on, walks back into the wall and just, like, kind of like kind of just like hold his hands on the other side just like who the fuck <laughs> hello Duster's <laughs> having a crisis Duster needs a moment Duster <laughs> needs a moment while just a moment while Duster while Duster is having his crisis and while Ruby's enjoying her apple while Jerky is enjoying his apple I assume 
Your friend looks like they're having a crisis. Thank you, Jerky. So, so good. So good to have you in this episode. Once again, incomprehensible. What the peck did Jerky say? Good. That means I'm doing the impression perfectly. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> you are, and I've never even watched a movie. Yeah, and while, and while we try and comprehend what the peck this fur this fur ball is trying trying to say, uh, let's move on to our next uh, our next uh, 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 character uh, of this. If it's important enough that I need you to understand, I will reiterate in a normal uh, speaking voice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, thank, yeah, yeah. thank you. Mark. Thank you, Mark. Because uh, I was about to say, at this point, Ruby probably just is gonna go leave and find Umi because you know what, peck this. Uh, she's gonna go find. Find friend. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Umi, 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 where you at? Where you at this morning? Uh, how how long has it been since Antler and Umi's FPS? Um, I'm gonna say it's probably been about a week, weekish. All right, so Umi probably did leave after, like leave Ruindal for a bit, but this morning, like like. This morning they've like come back just because um they only left for a bit to like visit someone but now they're back because Ruindal is very very interesting and very very fun and it has ruby so they're back and chilling in the river because that's what they do that's what they do best that's what they do best chilling water umi in the water decadence <laughs> <laughs> You've probably yeah. you've your time in the water. You've undoubtedly seen uh, Love the Dragon uh, go through the river river more than a couple times because the river has now become uh, has become love one of Love's favorite places to to chill. Hell yeah! Because water. We probably like tried to pet Love like more than a few times. My baby's growing up so fast. Yeah, at, the, at this point, Love Love accept <laughs> Love will accept pets from from Umi because Umi is a source of food. <laughs> this is our fish. And Umi is also nice, which is another thi thing. Uh, love is not not wholeheartedly uh, food motivated, though they are partially food motivated. I have I'm like to ask here. Like, <laughs> like when Ruby walks in, is Love still there and just like immediate like splashing as they like go? Uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a check. I'm gonna make a check real quick. Cause it has been a while since six. No, yeah. Uh, uh, the moment Love sees Ruby come into view, sploosh, little dragon, go and hide. <laughs> Ruby just blinks at where Love was and then kind of turns to look at Ruby judgingly. <laughs> Ruby is just standing there. <laughs> She's tired. She offers an apple to Umi that she got from the fridge. <laughs> Umi takes it and takes a bite. <laughs> and she signs, so, uh, did you see somebody sneak in? Because <laughs> there's May somebody new here. <laughs> I don't know if Jergi would have gone by the river. You can um, roll perception. I mean, possibly, yeah, possibly, but probably wouldn't have been, like, entering through the river, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna roll perception then. 24. Oh yeah, Umi, the moment you got to Ruindal, you started, you heard scurrying happening about in the castle. That definitely was not the scurrying of a rat or a real kind child or a, a old, old as all heck uh, skeleton man. You should have said old bag of bones because that was the opportunity. <laughs> Another, listen, I had to censor myself because the first phrase that came into my mind was not, uh, was not child friendly, so, uh. uh -huh. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Umi just signs back. I heard scurrying when I, when I, um, when I came to Rundle earlier. If it helps Jergy with the context, um, I think this is a point where Jergy just kind of wanders in, in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Umi, like, just like looking, looking around at the place, like, oh. Umi like blinks and and looks at Ruby, and looks at like Jergy. And I will be honest, their first thought was that that the that the weird creature. <laughs> you can do what you want this. with the information that you've been given. <laughs> yes, Umi does sign this to Ruby. Ruby, the gremlin child that she is, just kind of grins. <laughs> oh no. Hey, hey, Mock. And not. Uh -huh. Hey, Mock, Umi's gonna try and pet Jerdy. Okay, how do you approach? <laughs> just like slowly approach. <laughs> I mean, are you. Are you like sneaking up, or is it very clear that you're like coming over? Very clear that they're coming over, but like it's not like they're running at Jergy. Like they're not letting their assignment do that after what happened with love. <laughs> Smart <laughs> learning. We love to see it. Learning. Um I think Jergy, who still has like a quarter of this apple left, like just like looks at you again suspiciously. Umi. Umi slowly reaches out a hand to pat. Jerky moves the apple further away from you. <laughs> but does not going towards the apple. It is going towards Jerky themselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Umi, the hand slowly makes contact and starts petting. He's very soft. He is. Soft. Very floofy. He is. Oh, his eyes widen and like they turn to like Ruby and just sign soft. Fluffy. Ruby nods. I think <laughs> I think uh at that point Jerky would just is just like Oh, okay. And then like just like sits down and like finishes the apple. <laughs> Umi is just petting Jergy. Umi is transfixed. <laughs> oh my god. Duster, after having his crisis, eventually followed this strange new visitor who may be an intruder, and De Duster definitely knows what to do in the situation. He doesn't. Uh, it just, just kind of like goes around the corner and like just sees this and it's just like, okay. This is fine. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right behind the ears. Yeah. It's always the best spot. Jer Jerky's leg starts to like kick a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this it's 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 around this time that you hear uh that you hear a voice uh, a very familiar voice coming from down the hall. Uh, God. I have to get into character. Hold on. <laughs> I've been listening to this, just absolutely enjoying it. So good. <laughs> Me like character interactions. Anyways. Character interactions too. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> it's so hard doing it. It's hard, so hard doing characters when I have the giggles. Ah. Oh no. Just take a deep breath. Take deep breath. <clears throat> remember, hey, remember, folks, always do your always do your vocal exercises and warm ups before before uh, uh, getting started on stuff. Uh, I have a cat who's being distracting. Help! Yippee! <clears throat> Yippee! Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention to the, your kibi, you meanie. I am. I am, but I need to pay attention to game. Okay. Game. Now I real I realize that this is this is likely not as advanced or as up to code as as your old workplace used to be, but I imagine you will be able to make do. 
Oh, quite. Yes, I quite like this. Very vintage. Oh, vintage. No, no. Mm. Definitely has a nice, uh, a good aesthetic here. I can work with this. Hmm. We, there is a downstairs, there is a downstairs from the left corridor here that you, that you will be able to make your lab, I imagine. Oh, absolutely, yes. Mm. With enough supplies, I'm sure I can put this place to good use. Mm. But, <laughs> however, there is a project I would like, I would like you to get started, started on, but we can discuss that in a moment. Mm -hmm. oh, of course. Uh, hmm. Are we going to meet your associates? Yes, it is early though, so one of them may not be awake. Mm. Yeah. And <laughs> I have to <clears throat> me softly. Hey, Fable, what the fuck? Shh. <laughs> Shush. Uh, it's it's Hi, at friend. the it's at this time that uh <laughs> that Ruby that Ruby and Duster at least both hear a ping from their uh. From their speaking stones. Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> Oliver is currently de-summoned because it's early in the morning. <laughs> so it's only it's only Duster that gets the ping. <laughs> Duster at the moment. <laughs> like there's a D Duster was probably hearing this down the hall, you know, those are trying to be stealthy. Yeah, that didn't work because instantly it started ringing and <laughs> it's ringing from hammer space, which is making obvious noise. Yeah, he pulls it out. This thing is as big as him. And he's just like, uh, hi? Uh, you are needed in the throne room. All of you. Okay. Uh, that, yeah. Okay, I can do that. Uh, is that all? For now. Do not keep me waiting. And uh, then, yes, sir. and then you just, and then the the line goes, the line goes dead. Mm-hmm. Mm, tuck back into hammer space. Uh, uh, Ruby, where? Uh, I guess we're all going. We're all going to the throne room now, which shouldn't be that far because we're here uh, uh did did ruby like hear the other question. voice or like do i have to roll to hear i mean voice that I duster <laughs> duster could, if you're talking about like over the phone duster could not like put it up to his ear like you do normally so he'd have to hold it back, which projects sounds very loudly, by the way. And I'm gonna so. say that Ruin Doll's empty enough that there's a decent enough echo, so no, you you heard the other voice. Okay, well, Ruby immediately does not look pleased. <laughs> and she just starts sighing as she starts buttoning up her coat and, <laughs> like, looking to Umi like, I can't believe we have to deal with this. <laughs> this is Oops. okay. Umi's like signing to Ruby. I could, like Umi's like Umi's like signing to Ruby. I could leave right now. Ruby shakes her head and and offers like a hand out to Umi because like, come on. This Umi takes it. Yes. Good. Jerky, by the to way, the I rolled for stealth. Too. It was a natural twenty. I want to say is doing is doing the thing where. Basically, I was gonna have him be hiding behind Umi, uh, and I think he just continues to, like, almost, like, pressed up against Umi's back, like, oh as they go, like, just, like, back he's, back. like, walking backwards. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, actually. Just fit, oh, just man, that's back. a nice, that's a, that's a fun backpack. That's a nice fuzzy backpack. Where'd you get that? Yeah. Uh, I think... I think Ruby, Ruby, Duster, Duster's gonna, like, climb up Ruby's coat just to get, like, a higher vantage point of whatever the fuck is gonna happen next. Because he's short. Uh, what's gonna happen next is that you, uh, you all go into the throne, throne, throne room, and of course, and of course, uh, your boss, the Antlered King, is there. Is there looking as, uh, looking as he always do does, uh, dead. Uh, and beside, and uh, next to him is someone else. 
Mm-hmm. Rakes, would you like to introduce hey. yourself? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of fairly well covered up individual. Got a, a weird mop of uh, brown hair. Odd, oddly enough, the uh, the colors match antlers robe almost to like a T. Uh, oh. Wearing an odd backpack. Can't see much of the face. It's probably for the best. Mm, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it, like, this character looks over you and is like, ah, wait a minute. Do you just employ kids? Not my choice, but only currently. This will change. Well, okay. Uh, and, like, uh, from the backpack, two long, like, metal tentacles extend out and, like, reach towards uh, Umi and Ruby. Because uh, they're oh. the most visible, like, and offer, like, a, like, offering a handshake. Umi, honestly, Umi just shakes the hand because, again, ocean child, this seems to be quote unquote an octopus. Hmm. A squid. It would know, but I don't. <laughs> uh, it is very jolly, cephalopodish. Yeah. Ruby does not shake the hand. <laughs> she is again. She does not look pleased, and she's just like looking at Antler, like, "What is this?" And Antler gives a very, very unimpressed look right, uh, right back. <laughs> Uh, and, he, and he goes, um, <clears throat> So then, you've now all met the doctor. Doctor... And he looks at the uh, doctor. Because I oh. don't remember your name. Oh, yes. Uh, Dr. Matter. Dr. Gray Matter. Mm. Dr. Matter will be, work will be working here from now on. Yes. You won't even know I'm here. Possibly. Uh, oh, I do assume man. that there is some sound suppression between the, the holes. Uh, if they if there is not, you you are more than welcome to build, to make sound suppression for your work. Excellent. Just to keep make sure everybody can sleep at night? Yes. Hmm. I, I I need you all to know that when the doctor like introduced themselves, like I was muted because I was laughing too hard. But I immediately <laughs> went, "Oh, like the alien!" <laughs> oh boy! Oh, gosh! Oh my it, gosh! Buster's still kind of reeling that he's been called a child. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't. Hmm. Roll insight, please, <laughs> if you don't mind. Insight. What is my insight? <laughs> Thirteen. Oh yeah, that that's that's perfectly fine. The doctor hasn't even noticed you're there. Oh good. That's that's actually amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Wonderful. Honestly, cool. Umi, like Umi was more surprised at the fact that they called like the doctor called them an employee. Like like, Umi just kind of, like, looks at Ruby at that, like, did, did Umi get hired at some point without realizing? Is that all I am to you? <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, uh, just... oh no, go ahead. Ruby is once again, like, the, her expression is just this might as well happen. She's not pleased about it, but this might as well happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where I roll, uh. This is where I roll an insight. Mm. Oh, and as a quick note, uh, when That's Ruby does four. not shake the shake the tentacle, it it just reaches over and pats her uh, oh boy. patronizingly on the head before <laughs> retracting. Ugh. Oh, Ruby is not pleased. <laughs> yeah, Antler Antler does uh, look over at the other. At the others before 
uh, looking at the doc before looking at the doctor and and uh, and giving a nod, nod to him. Well, well then, with that out of the way, Doctor, feel free to make yourself at home. Ah, yes. Uh, this way, I believe you said, correct? Yes, down the left corridor. Excellent. I will go inspect the facilities. Hmm. And he just kind of glides off down that way. Antler is not going to tell the doctor about the about the still open portal to the... <laughs> <laughs> so the doctor's gonna have so the doctor's gonna have that to find when he gets down there. But that, oh, this is amazing. But we'll but we'll we'll let the doctor go and and do his thing. <laughs> but yeah. What's up, guys? I got blaze ruts. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, Ru Rudal now has its own its own mad mad doctor mad scientist. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, already. Needs. Ruby's already planning on bullying him. By the way, don't worry. Oh yeah. A oh, Antler rolled an insight of twenty-four, so he's he's yeah. looked at Ruby <laughs> yeah. and has known me and has a, immediately gives her a warning look. Oh my god! Look, I don't think that's gonna stop her. Like, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. <laughs> Somehow I feel with the kind of person the doctor is, like, that that might actually just, like, endear him to Ruby. Oh, good golly, no. <laughs> no. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll just have, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. But as the doc, but as the doctor, as the doctor goes, Antler turns back to the, uh, to the other three, and, uh, cause he is not, cause, uh, he has not seen mm -hmm. the... The current. The impression of a backpack is really good. <laughs> wait, did you make? Wait, did you make a stealth roll and I didn't see it? Yeah, it was yeah. a natural twenty. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. When we first heard their voices. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try and. and <laughs> I'm gonna let this play. I'm gonna let this play out that Umi just has a furry backpack now. Uh huh. Kind of roll perception for Umi just because even if they notice, they won't say anything. Yeah, yeah, go for it. It would be the nat 20. Nah, they know nope. it. I mean... Yeah, you probably- You know, you're like, eh, something's different, but... <laughs> Chuck emoji. It's fine, it's probably just cause, you know, whatever. Anakin. I mean, you did notice, I suppose, or maybe you didn't, I don't know, that's up to Umi, but, like... A journey disappeared when they, when they started, you know, when their voices started. Yeah, hey, with they that. They know this. They notice this. They are sad that their petting was cut short. Mm hmm. It is. It's really sad. I know. Tragic. Well, Antler turns back, turns back to, to all you three. Uh, has 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 a has a staring contest with Ruby for a few seconds. I feel like there's just like an unspoken conversation that goes between them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But it it, en it ends with Antler sighing and shaking his head, his head, and go and uh, well now without out of the way, the way it is time to get down to business. Let's get down to business. Shh. Ah, <laughs> oh, this house is a fucking nightmare. I can't say shit here. <laughs> I can't say shit. <laughs> but anyways, Antler, Antler will, God, Antler will will start to walk towards uh, his room, and he will open and he will open the doors and walk in, and he will gesture for you all to follow and leave the doors open behind him as he walks in. Ruby very pointedly like shoves her hands in toward the pockets of her coat as she kind of like stalks after him. She's yeah. <laughs> Duster does not think this is a good idea, but Grumpy. he's sitting on Ruby's shoulder. <laughs> he just follows behind like chill. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, you walk you walk in and uh, and mo safe for maybe one of you. Most of you have actually been in this room already, so you, while Antler just try to keep you people out for all the good it does, uh, you're well familiar with it now, so it's easy. To, so it's easy to to see that there is uh, a small difference uh, in that there is a is one of those uh, on wheel whiteboards in the middle of the room with three with uh, three fold out <laughs> chairs in front of it. God. Oh my gosh. Wait, did you say three chairs? Yeah, three. <laughs> does does <laughs> Antler expect him to sit in his own chair? I don't know. It's there, just in case. It's there if you want two, it. Two big chairs and one tiny chair. <laughs> no, it's three big chairs and one small chair on top of one of the big chairs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, nothing else. That's respectful. Question mark. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You all see this, and we're gonna have a small flashback moment of Antler and Little Corner looking through the shops, looking through the shops, and and one of the and the customer service is just like, oh, how can I help you? And Antler just needing something because he needs to make a presentation, and he's just like, oh yeah, of course. And let's just say the person helping him went a little too far. Uh, went a little too far, or more than Antler was going for, but Antler kind of, at that time of day, was just kind of went with it and just bought what, what they bought what they gave him. So, this is the... So now he has a whiteboard, and he has chairs, so... Dice. Dice. <laughs> Ruby kind of, like, holds up a hand for Dustin to climb on, because she's gonna offer to... Help Duster to get to the little seat. <laughs> Hold on, I need to roll something. I'm gonna decide this beforehand. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you rolling? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, the, how, how is this chair like proper? Like, could Duster sit in this chair? You ha listen. Okay, so I'm going with the I'm going with the rule of funny here. There are three chairs, all of regular size, but on the third chair there is one tiny chair that is just the right size for Duster. Duster, you're pretty sure this comes from a dollhouse, but it looks like it will looks like it'll d be fine. Maybe you'd have to try it to find like out. A, like a well-made one. Yeah, it's, right. a, it's a well-made dollhouse chair. Okay, so I rolled a two. Um. Duster kind of looks at this smaller chair for a moment and then sits in it with a question mark because he's doing it wrong. Uh, he's never oh. been, like, he's never had a chair, like a proper full size chair before. He's never been in a chair before. He's <laughs> <laughs> so he, he a rat sitting in a chair. <laughs> I think like Ruby's gonna take some time to like help Duster <laughs> sit properly in the chair. <laughs> She's gonna very carefully offer out her hands like, "Hey, can I rearrange you so you're sitting correctly?" <laughs> Dust Duster sees nothing wrong with how you're sitting in this chair. She just kind of looks at Ruby, looks at the chair, gives a shrug. <laughs> Sure, vibing in this chair. You know what? She's just gonna let let a sitting rat, rat lie and <laughs> and go sit in her own chair. <laughs> here's here's how chaotic I'm thinking. That I think he accidentally tipped over the chair at one point, and now he's like resting his feet on like the base on like the the backing and like sitting on the like the small bar between like the oh the actual seat part of the, <laughs> and the legs. It's oh quiet wheezing coming from Ruby now. <laughs> like one one foot balanced on the back of it, one foot on the ground just to like keep balance so it doesn't fall over. Good golly. <laughs> You're not meant to sit in a chair like this. 
Yeah, antler. Yeah, ant- antlers. Like, look. Like, it, he's obviously waiting. Uh, he's waiting for everyone to sit down, and a- as they are, he he does in fact like watch Duster and his. <laughs> doesn't do anything. He just watches Duster in his in his trial to to sit in a chair. <laughs> that said, I'm I'm assuming everyone uh, uh, eventually takes their seat. Yep. So I, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, is is Jerky still the uh, still a furry backpack on this chair? I'm I'm so torn because if Duster wasn't gonna sit in the in that chair, I was gonna have Jerky just sit there. Oh my god! Are there any Gosh. snacks in this room? No. Damn it! <laughs> no, roll perception. I mean, looks at Ruby, who is a child. Perception. Eighteen. Eighteen. No, there, there's nothing that looks like a snack in here. Sorry. There's maybe there, there there's maybe uh 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 in the back corner of the room where he keep where uh there's a bit of like a uh magic lab set up with a cult with a cauldron in a. And it and a table carved into the wall. Uh, there's probably like some like uh, magic ingredients sitting around, but most of it's like her, most of it's like herbs, a few flowers, uh, and a few miscellaneous Ooh. and a few miscellaneous things in jars. I mean, that may or may not be Ruby pickled. Ruby has a picnic basket, but it's not important. <laughs> Ruby has a picnic basket. That's a good point. She does. <laughs> That's true. She does, but we'll get to. But you know what? We'll let we'll let uh, Jerky ponder that picnic basket in a moment. As Antler uh, turns to the white turns to the whiteboard and and uh, 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 all y'all roll insight just for fun. Oh, oh joy! Insight just for fun. I, I like. Forgot. So let me actually has decent insight on Excel. That's a dirty 21, baby. 21, 12, 12 18, 13. Yeah, 13. That, that's all enough. Antler has a moment because you see at the bottom of the white, you see at the bottom of the whiteboard that there are, um, that there are multiple, uh, whiteboard markers, but, uh, Antler, you see Antler, like, hesitating a moment over which to choose because he's never had to use a whiteboard before in his life. And he and like in his mind he's still like he knows the person told him that you could and they showed him that you could just like use these markers to write on the board and then erase it. It's not permanent. But he's just like, but when you write on something, it's permanent. Uh, so he's like he's worrying that in his mind for a few seconds before he finally picks up the before he finally picks up the, the black whiteboard marker and starts writing. <laughs> Umi Umi again. Um, Umi does not emote very much, like, facial-wise, but, like, Ruby, you get the feeling that, that they're, like, kind of, like, they're kind of used. I, I don't, I don't think Ruby has encountered a whiteboard either. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> it, you it, gotta it, remember that Ruby, co- like, when a, Ruby comes from a place that's not very technologically advanced. <laughs> Being an equal is new. <laughs> Alright, that's that's fair. That, oh yeah. <laughs> me softly magic. Please tell me Duster knows what a whiteboard is. Duster's rusty, but he's definitely seen a whiteboard before. Alright. Okay, great. Awesome. He he's about ten years rusty, but yep, that sure is a whiteboard. It's it's a board that you can write on with stuff. Hey. That you can erase. Yeah. And if you yep. like walk on top of it, um, sometimes it'll leave your your like your footprints behind if you walk on the marker. So don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, Abby, you've not seen a whiteboard, but I for sure you've seen a chalkboard. Oh yeah. Absolutely. So so you, you so you catch up. So it, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that oh yeah, this is another. This is like a chalkboard, but with markers. Yeah. Uh, as, and as Antler begins. Uh, begins writing in uh, in common for <laughs> for most of you to read. Duster's learning, okay. I've actually actually that was named at Umi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Uh, 
and uh, what and what he and basically what he write uh, writes down is uh, is uh, plan uh, plans to take over Little Corner. <laughs> My evil plans. <laughs> Listen, you gotta start somewhere. No, it's great. Good. And he's also dealing with ch with majority children, so he feels he needs to write this. He feels he needs to write this down. Trust me, it, it, if it were adults, chances are he would not be writing it down. He'd just be telling you. But you are all children, so he's writing it down so it commits well, to memory. Not all of them. Ma majority. <laughs> majority are children, and only one of those children can read. I think Dustin recognizes the word little, but that's about it. God, you know what? I think Ant I think Antler is like halfway through writing before he turns turns to you all. And then he looks. And then he looks to see the majority of people who are sitting. And like he looks at you, Ruby, and that's fine. But then he looks at Umi. Then he looks at Duster. And then he just yeah. sighs. Right. I was about to say, Umi can't read. And Umi, I'll be honest, the second, like, you put Umi in a school-like environment, they started zoning out in my extension, so did I. <laughs> you know what, you're va you know what, you're va valid. So you know what, Antler just closes the marker. Puts Ruby it... is just the only one. The only one. Yeah, Ruby hasn't been to a school either. Right, hi. He's been to a school. Right, Once upon I, a time. I would... When he has been to school, did they actually attend classes? No, they didn't. Right. right. Quite almost forgot how silly of me. And he puts the white and he puts the, the whiteboard marker down and just and and this and this is one of those he pushes the white he pushes the whiteboard off screen off screen and you and uh you don't see where and it, you know it disappears off camera and you hear the crash boom bang meow! Classic cartoon uh, gag noise. I think Ruby jumps at that because whoa, okay. Hello? Yeah, Ruby, the whiteboard's just gone. In the tunish fashion, it's just gone. Ruby is just staring like what? Hello? How did? They have a question. Still weird. Okay. Yeah. Gags are is still this... weird. Is this the kind of thing where is Antler going to be picking things up and putting them down while he's talking? Um, probably. Um, I want to make a roll, and you can determine how soon it is in this. But uh, can Jorgi be um, when Antler puts something down, uh, like it popping up in the background and and taking it? And then, like, you have a shot of him, like, investigating it. Like, if it's a, one of those markers, he probably, like, opens it and sniffs it. And is like, ah. Yeah, it again. yeah, tell you what. Tell you what. When Antler, instead of putting the whiteboard marker down, because I love this gag, Antler is still going to be holding the whiteboard marker when he pushes the whiteboard off uh, off camera. And, and he's going to be holding it for a, a determined amount of time. And you may roll. And you may roll. And I believe that's... I can do a stealth like or a sleight of hand. hand. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say sleight of hand for this one. Right. Total of ten. It's a ten. Up okay. to you to decide when it happens. Cool, cool. Uh, if Antler catches, um, I mean, eventually, I think he will he will catch him. But like, uh, for for now, for now, Antler is going to uh, is mainly going to focus on uh, uh, Ruby and Duster because um, uh. And Umi can listen if they want. Uh. I will admit, Umi's probably more distracted by, you know, Jerky. <laughs> That's what you're distracted by, yeah. In the background, you can see this happening. Meanwhile, yeah, I... Umi's just, like, staring straight it's at It's like, Jergi. random things in the background. Like, he picks them up. Like, there's a jar. He picks it up. He shakes it, listens, puts it back down. Like Umi is, like, Umi is listening. <laughs> Umi has been curious about a lot of the stuff in Endless Room. Tragically, you've only been in Antler's room once, and they're not allowed to tamper with anything. Nope. But they sure can watch Jerky tamper with everything. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Like so, the... so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so you can all imagine Jerky in the back in the background now, just kind, 
<laughs> just doing just doing random stuff of exploring the room while Antler is talking. <laughs> and <clears throat> speaking of now that now then to <laughs> now then to reiterate, you all know that I plan on re I plan on taking over Ainquel and becoming king once more. To do that, I need to do that, I need land and I need support. Both of which I am cur both of which, as is obvious, I am currently lacking. And obviously lacking the manpower to get said things. Otherwise and again, he looks at all of you, majority children. With the one adult who's a rat. Sitting incorrectly in a chair. Yep. <laughs> and and then there, uh, yeah. And as my and my usual tactics would be would be to either overpower overpower a town a town or or to simply uh, sub force it into submission with my with fear. However, since I since those tactics are no not readily available to me, we are going to have to do this a bit more carefully, I should say. Any questions so far? Ruby just kind of is like thinking to herself and like so uh what would she sign? Uh I was about to ask, where is Oliver? Oh, Oliver is, uh, desummoned at the moment. <laughs> it's a little too early and, like, y you know, Oliver gets breaks! Oliver gets breaks from <laughs> from being in the material plane sometimes. <laughs> That's valid. This is his one vacation day of the year. One vacation! <laughs> So Ruby is kind of thinking to herself, she's like, so are we going to do this with, like, diplomacy? Like, diplomatic style? Is that what the plan is? This is what it is one of the plans. I I have workshopped a few, a few, but, consi but considering our resources and considering who I have to work with, best to talk it, best to talk it over. And then, like, unscrews the lid of, of something and, like, sniffs it. Umi is staring directly at it. Umi's eyes. Umi's eyes have been entertained by this. Now, you've, you've all been, you've all it's been to... like a mix of, like, paying attention to Antler and a mix of getting distracted slightly. <laughs> I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a roll. I'm still paying attention enough, but <laughs> I'm just gonna make a roll. It's gonna be in sight. It's a twenty-one. Uh, antler. Uh, uh, antler. Antler recognizes that 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 Ruby uh, isn't paying much attention. Neither is Umi. Neither is Umi, and uh, Antler's going to Antler's going to turn and and. Take a look, and uh, Mock, I want you to, to roll a stealth for this bit. Sure. <laughs> oh god, please roll well. Please, I've done. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, it, just as Antler tur turns, uh, Jerky, what what do you, oh. like, what do you disappear behind? Um, what's Antler out there? There is a perfectly jerky shaped vase of some kinds of like a flower that Antler has to keep like living for whatever, you know. It's for potions, uh, yeah. Yeah, alchemy, potions, whatever. Uh, but the, the vase is perfectly jerky shaped. Yeah, as, as <laughs> Antler turns. Completely shaped vase. Completely <laughs> shaped vase. Yeah, Antler, <laughs> Antler looks. Uh, and upon not seeing anything amiss, uh, he. <laughs> He turns back around, uh, and continues to and continues talking. Jerky's head pops up, like, you know, sniffs at the flowers. They smell very. They smell very nice. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll something real quick. Please. Where's my deception? It's real bad. Oh my God. <laughs> So like 
Ruby is like putting a hand to her face and like she looks like she's okay yeah now I'm gonna focus she's trying very hard not to crack up laughing <laughs> mm -hmm. but that, that totally means that yeah, she's covering it up pretty well <laughs> She does the thing where, like, her she puts a hand like up to her mouth, like to stop laughing, but she kind of makes it so that she like uh like she's thinking, like covering her, yeah. like like the thinker just like mm hmm mm hmm yeah to like God yeah antler antler turns back, raises an eyebrow at at you th at you three before just shaking his head and continue. Yeah. I mean, aside from oh. Dustin and Ruby, who should know better, like, is it that much of a surprise that Umi's seemingly distracted with something? Not at all. But Umi's also not really employed, so Antler doesn't care if Umi pays. Yeah. A Antler's actually not too plussed if if Umi uh, doesn't uh, pay much attention. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, he and besides, like, Ruby can tell them anything if there's anything truly important. Yeah. 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 So, anyways, uh, <clears throat> I have come up. I have come up with several, several plans. Oh, one of one of which, well, there are a few. All would be exhausting no matter what. But, but I will accept input on the matter. We. C and he looks back to to the whiteboard that he had wasted money on. Uh, Anyways. Try diagrams on. Diagrams would have helped. It would have all been writing. No, that's fair. Not a very good presentation <laughs> giver then, huh? He hasn't had to do it on a whiteboard. <laughs> usually he just has to give orders on something. Listen, listen. Usually he just had to give I orders would... on something, and then his minions would get it done. But since his okay. current minions are... People, he feels he should explain things first because otherwise something will go wrong. Uh, I mean, fair I'm enough. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I I fabled. Love all of you, but Antler would not trust any of you. <laughs> with Antler, the. It's like the scene in the office where Adler looks into the camera and is like, given the chance, they will fuck up, pack up anything I tell them to do. Basically, basically, yeah. 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 So. R R like, Ruby's competent enough to, like, know what to do. She just do mess up things on purpose, let's be honest. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, anyways, so, uh, yeah. Antler begins pace. <laughs> Antler begins his pacing back and forth as he starts talking. As he starts talking, so the town of Little Corner will be, will obviously be our, our first target in joining my kingdom. There are several ways we could go about this. As I've said, normally I would use fear, fear or, pow or overwhelming power to take over a tow town, but since neither of those are available, we need to do this a bit more carefully. Said ways of doing, doing it are, well, there's several. We. God, funny, funny you should, funny you should type that magic. <laughs> uh, for those, for those, for those who are, for those who are, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Sorry. Phone? Just a sec. Oh, oh magic. There is I phone. Mock had to mute for a second to answer phone. Uh, but for those who are listening, uh, magic just, just typed in the chat, run for mayor. I find funny. Oh Gosh, is that what we're doing? <gasps> I'm running for me. I am gonna die. This is how I die. <laughs> I can't pee. I can't pee. This is a different sort of campaign. <laughs> it's a campaign within a can within a campaign. Uh. We turn this story into a political drama. Shh. <laughs> <sighs> okay, God, no, God, you keep making keep y'all are distracted. We forget. Oh, we're at we're over an hour I'm in. Sorry. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Okay, the no, players you're, are you're too funny. Will... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the I comedy police. In our defense, you did tell us that it was fine to take it slow. It was. It, no, it is. It is. But I do want to get some, like, plot into this episode before our, our next Please. episodes when shit actually Please. happens. This is we the talking. Plot. Yeah, we do need plot. Let me get to the plot and then we can, we can, go, we can do shits and giggles. But let me get to the plot. So anyways. Okay. Now then, Little Cor Little Corner is un is under the rule of the Jiznip Kingdom, which is which is as my as I've as I've studied the kingdom itself is currently a mo is majority a monarchy under King Jiznip. Hmm. And Antler actually makes it unimpressed hmm, when he says the name. Quite honestly, I think I think Umi like Umi actually stops getting distracted by Jerdy. Enough to like give a little snort. <laughs> King Kisnap, unimpressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Hey, Umi and Antler agree on that. God, Kisnap. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how? How? I'm basically capable of making a tune who does not like, who is un, who is not, who is <laughs> who is not unimpressed by the government. I have to make a tune like that hmm. Good. Good. <laughs> well as uh, as i said while while the disney kingdom is in itself a mo monarchy the towns and cities however do have do have democratically elected elected officials running running each one and as it and as much as this pains me to say there is there is, after doing some talking with the with the townspeople there is a election coming up in a few weeks and i do plan on running i can't believe this you were right on the nose bitch ah <laughs> <laughs> uh. Duster! Duster raises his hand! <laughs> yes, Duster. What's an election? Right. It is when, it is when people come together to, to choose someone to lead them. It's a... It is, in simplest terms, it is a vote. Uh, just nods. Duster, look, look, Antler. You already know that this 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 rat does not know a lot about government. He, he's nodding, but he doesn't look like he truly understands. He kind of gets it, but not really. Uh, th this is where, and you know, this is where Antler is gonna gonna. <laughs> Do a brief explanation about go about government monarchy, uh, both monarchies and democratic and democratic governments to to Duster, real quick, <laughs> just so Duster is caught up with what with what this with what this is about, hopefully. <laughs> okay, yeah, he he. He has a grasp of it at the end. Yeah. How tight that grasp is is very much up to debate. Listen, you you get that there is a vote coming up, a vote that all the people of the town are gonna vote for someone that is gonna be put in charge of said town. Makes sense. Duster doesn't understand the point because he's the only tiny co like tiny colony he's lived in does not have enough did not have a set leader but yeah just kind of yeah that kind of makes sense as long as it makes sense yeah yeah so like ruby's kind of like thinking and she's just <laughs> so you want us to do stuff that will get like you having like a positive opinion so people will vote for you is that what we're doing <laughs> essentially yes 
Lockbeard just stares. Antler and, like, stares back. She, like, looks down at herself and like back up at Antler. <laughs> and it's like you severely overestimate my capabilities of being good with people. <laughs> that is why there are multiple <laughs> options. Cur Currently, there are there are royal guards stationed in this ta town due to it due to its it being well known as a trading town. However, I've yet to meet a god. Makes a face. However, I've yet to meet. A I have yet to meet anyone that cannot be paid off. So, so we can find. So we can find someone within the god. I imagine who can, who can provide assistance if need be. And okay. which recall which, as I'm thinking about that, actually, uh, Antler turns to look at Duster. Hi. Yes. Duster. Feels very put on the spot at the moment. As I... As I recall, we did... I did speak to you about wanting to know if there are other tinies living... Living within the town. Uh-huh. Antler is looking at you, Duster, expectantly. Uh. 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 Alright. Uh. Just, just kind of nervous. De that's 15 f for deception. Uh. Um. He's, uh. He's. he's Staring right back expectantly. I'm gonna roll contesting insight. That's deception, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. Sixteen. Motherfucker. Okay. And an and antler and as you stare back, antler gives like a squint and like just uh, j the corners of his skeleton mouth just kind of dip down ever so slightly. Like you're no, not fooling I him. I, uh, yes, there there are tinies in the town. I I don't think they can help with this. And why is that? They they do they do menial labor. They they make things. They don't they, look. They they're set up real good right now, and. I don't- I don't want to break the tranquility that they've got. Hmm. The tra- We both- from what you've explained of Tiny's to me, that tranquility is likely short-lived. It's- <sighs> Tell me, would they- tell me, would they rather continue living- living a life- Living a life of fear and needing, and needing to hide, they, or would they prefer a life of more security? They're fine where they are. I. They're fine where they. Look, not, not every tiny is a bad experience. I. I've never seen it myself, but people are out there doing it. So, I don't... I don't... <sighs> Besides, I've already... I've already talked to them about the offer. They... They refused it. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Very well. Well, that is not the answer. Well, that is not the answer. Answer I was hoping, hoping for. There's little... There's little one can do about it at the moment. That said, I will. That said, I will remem remember their. I will remember their hesitance to offer support in the future. Not hesitancy. They just turned us down. Hmm. 
They will realize that. Oh. They will realize that mistake later on. What is that? And it is just then that <laughs> that Antler just notices the the fur ball that is standing next to him holding his pen. Okay, the laughter that Ruby has been holding back this whole time immediately comes out. <laughs> just, just wheezing. <laughs> Jerky looks extremely guilty, um, smiles real wide. Um, how quickly can Jerky climb up onto, uh, the front of Antler and draw a little mustache on him? Um, 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 you're, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna roll for that, bud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna roll two things. I'm asking, I'm asking you, what, what, what should I roll? Um, it's probably gonna be some kind of a uh, dexterity check to see how quick. Um, um, I mean, I could do acrobatics. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and do acrobatics. It's very. I have a pretty. <laughs> I'm making a roll myself. It's an eighteen. Eighteen. It's eleven. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you. Uh. Yeah, uh, right, okay. Well, you've drawn a mustache on this skeleton who looks very just surprised, and I am now gonna roll another. Jerky is attempting now to springboard off of Antler, uh, to hide behind Ruby. That's probably how you don't, uh, that's probably how you, you just managed to not get hit by Antler's staff as he swings <laughs> it at you. Does, does Jerky want to make ah! a deck save? Do you want to make a save? Because I think Ruby's laughing hard enough to start tipping back in her chair. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Dex saving throw, you say. 19. <laughs> I feel like... Uh, hey, can Ruby also make a deck save? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eleven. Okay, so here's what happens. Uh, Ru Ruby, you are laughing so hard, and you do, in fact, keel over in your chair and fall over. However, Jerky, with a 19, you land perf- you land, uh, perfectly on the- You land perfectly Wait, on Ruby's- on Ruby's knees, so you're still, like, sitting. You're sitting upright, but Ruby is now, like, with her back on the ground, still in the chair, laughing. Meanwhile, uh, ant meanwhile, uh, uh, Antler is, is gonna take a, a moment to wipe the marker from his, uh, from his, off his face. But is staring, but is also just staring at, at Jurgi. So don't give Jurgi an apple. What? Jurgi can be here. What is... And I'm just gonna make another roll real quick. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna make two rolls. This is important. 16, that was a whiz save, so Antler does not go to hit Jurgi again with his staff. Nice. Good. Uh, <laughs> we love to see it. But, Jurgi, there is a green glow within the skeleton's eyes as he stares at you. And I guess roll insight. I was gonna say, is this a different tone than how he's been uh, previously? Uh, everyone roll insight. Ruby, oh, Ruby, you're you're laugh you're you're laughing up a storm on the ground. Um, the yeah, plus Ruby's three two, is mine, so. so I got the nineteen. Uh, dust. Yeah. Uh, six dusters. Still in du mm, Duster. Duster's not having a good time. You know, no. he just got a question about Tiny's again. Duster is oh, never boy. having a good time. I don't know. I don't no. know. I don't know what to do with you on this matter. <laughs> He's never having a good time. You stay as an Adler bully Duster for five minutes. Adler doesn't even see it as bullying. He's just questioning. It's not important. Anyways, oop. 
Ubi and Jer Umi and Jergi, you see Antler stare at Jergi, at Jergi, and and Umi, you've seen. Uh, this is actually a bit similar to the to the to when he summoned that sword of light uh, in your FP FPS uh, about a week or so ba back. Back, there's a bit of there's recognition there. Umi actually tilts their head a bit and like and like. And signs, do you both know each other? I don't know if Georgie's even looking at you because, um, Georgie, who has had this little, like, mischievous smile on this whole time, that's kind of dropped. Uh, he looks like he's about to bolt. That would depend. Who are you? Would you care to introduce yourself? I don't recall inviting you into my home. Jerry like looks around as if someone else, as if he's hoping Antler's talking to someone else. <laughs> uh, me, uh, you look back at Antler and he is pointing his staff right at you. Like, no, he's talking to you. Gives like one of those really like, uh, big like really guilty smiles, kind of like points points at himself asking like are you talking yes <laughs> i am talking to you Georgie, <laughs> i think he's going to like grab the end of the staff and shake it as if it were a hand I am just going to make one more check for reasons. It is not. It's actually something else. It's an attack roll. No, it's not. It's, it's not that either. <laughs> is it strength? Is Antler going to pull and yank? No, this is going to be a... Um, this is going to be a history check. Oh, boy. 18. Oh, okay. 18. Okay, Antler looks to be thinking, thinking, and he he thinks for a good long moment as he stares at the at at this at this fur ball. Uh, but whatever conclusion he comes to, the the green light slowly fades from his eye sockets, and he pulls his staff back. And care to explain why you are here, Jergy? He is he has raised a hand and is like just. Rubbing at his temples. Ah. Uh, well, did you heard that there was a... That there was a... Brought some snacks? So Georgie decided to come in and see if there were snacks, but the snacks were all in a big box. So Georgie turned up on the box, so Georgie had to wait. And then he and I came in, and I uh, got a uh, snack for Georgie. <sighs> How much, much of that you understood is up to you. I'm rolling insight. Weirdly enough, Antler actually. Insight. Weirdly enough, Antler actually understood all that, and he just wipes his face, looking up, uh, looking at the sky. And actually, he he pot and he takes a moment to actually look back at the at the cauldron behind him. I c and <laughs> do I get anything from an eleven? <laughs> I doubt I get anything. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, what was that roll for? I rolled insight to see if, like, Ruby could discern if... <laughs> if Jergy was, I mean, like, telling the whole truth or not. Nah. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, you could get Jergy's kind of doing, like, a... Uh, well... Well, she said I could. <laughs> okay, yeah, Jergy, you're getting, you're getting a glare from Ruby. <laughs> as a, don't pin this on me! <laughs> Jergy gives you a look back that's like, have you seen this guy? Deadpan. Deadpan stare. Yes, of course she's seen this guy. <laughs> uh, Antler just, just, wipe, just rubs at his temples a few moments longer. Oh, uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a long one. This is gonna be a long, long one. 
And he just goes, and how long do you plan on staying? Um. Yes, I'm talking to you. Uh, Jordan, Jordan will stay uh, as long as snacks, snacks are given. And Antler turn, turns his gaze to to Ruby. There's a look there. A look of, are you going to be giving him snacks? Uh, Ruby's, Ruby's opinion of Jurgi has very much tanked very recently, so... <laughs> Alright, so that's a relief. Uh, Antler will then turn his gaze to Umi I mean, and give the same look. I giving snacks is a very... is, is fa fairly loose, probably, compared to other people. Yeah. Antler's still gonna look over at Umi and give the same look. But then he looks at it and realizes, wait, it's Umi. Yeah, Umi will probably feed this yeah, gremlin. I was, I, I was about to say, like... What what did Adler expect Umi to do? Honestly, I don't know. But then he lo looks over at Duster. Is Duster with us, or is he still in his own uh, mindscape? Uh, he he's sort of st still worrying about you know the secret of the tinies, and he possibly just put some people in danger. Hmm, not great. Not feeling good. Uh, zero out of ten. Uh, also, he's a rat who is known to, like, literally just take food from the kitchens, and then you never see it again. So, yeah. Probably not going to be. They have a kind of camaraderie here. <laughs> Antler just sighs before raising his hand and making just a gesture motion for, for y'all to go. And he just goes, that will be all for today. I will call, I will call you all back once I, once we have, once it is time to move on the election. You don't gotta tell Jerky twice, Jerky's out of there. <laughs> Bye, Duster's also tipping. Uh, yeah. And yeah, while Jerky's leaving, Ruby's gonna cast Gust and make him leave faster. <laughs> Good. Ooh, Shove him with the air. <laughs> I just imagine Jerky starts Be running, gone. then Jerky feels like a, a breeze sweep under it, sweep under his bum, and then whoosh! Out the wind, out the door. He's out of here. Be gone. Be gone. Oh, will likely be back. Oh dear. He's like, do slam the door behind. Yes, with Gus. Good. Goodbye. Excellent, excellent. I've played this character perfectly. <laughs> Duster has popped open a floorboard somewhere and just slipped inside, and now he's gone. Meanwhile, Antler is, uh... Whatever what Ru Ruby and Umi choose to do, Antler is just going to stand there a few moments more, just rubbing his temples, looking tired and annoyed. This is what his life has come to. This this is yeah, this is great. <laughs> and Umi said that they literally just came back to ruin all this morning, Antler. <laughs> this is what Antler has to has to work with. He has yeah, a Umi's gone. Umi's gonna like go and go after Jerky because they still want to pet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's yeah, hilarious. Umi, Umi can do that. Umi can do that on their own. Ruby is going back to her room, slamming the door shut behind her, and just vibing in there. She's not happy. There are a lot no. of things that have happened this morning that she's not happy about. <laughs> yeah, a few. Yeah, there's been a lot of stuff that has hap that has happened. Uh. And I know, <laughs> and I know, we didn't get. Mad scientist, this person that's stuck in has been very rude. <laughs> it's just, uh... 
There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. There's, and more, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going. There's a lot going on. And we'll t- and we'll get to touch on it more for. Cause I just looked at the time. It's been an hour and a half. Hour and a half, which I feel is a good place to to end for this episode. I know n- not a lot in terms of plot has happened, but but uh, again, this is all built. Sometimes this is, you don't need a lot. Don't need a lot, and again, the build up. It's build up to the fun stuff. So Buster for- was having a good day until that one question. <laughs> It was gonna get asked. You should have prepared. Sorry, bud. <laughs> he didn't know what was no, happening, man. did he? What? He got like twenty minutes of sleep this entire night. Leave him alone. Give it. It's oh, not. Gosh, Duster. <sighs> oh my goodness. Listen, I love this rap, but nothing I do is good. Nothing I do is good enough. I'm sorry, people. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. Antler's a butt. Antler's a butt who doesn't consider people's feelings on things. But anyways, uh, so yeah. So, <laughs> this, I feel like this is a great start to, to this arc, to this arc, so. So, look, so, yeah, that, that is it for this episode. So I do hope to see you all next time in, <laughs> in part two of, of getting a little cornered. This episode has just been everyone has a bad time. Pretty Are much. You for yourself, Umi's having a good time. Should end the recording. Umi's had a relatively neutral time. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and end the recording. Thank you all. Thank you all for listening. We'll hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.